Well, it is, of course, the final day of the Republican National Convention today, and it is to be headlined by Donald Trump. Joining us live now, Republican strategist Amanda Mackey. Amanda, um, thanks for your time this morning. So it is a day of history today for Donald Trump. He will be just the second Republican to get the nomination three times, Richard Nixon being the other one. So a big moment awaits. It does. It's going to be a really fantastic night, I think. But more than anything else, President Trump has said that he's going to try to unify the country with his speech. So the previous speech prior to Saturday was ripped apart and redone um, in light of the events of Saturday. And it's supposed to be a conciliatory speech and one that's supposed to bring the nation together given the tragic events of Saturday. Ken, is that even possible, though, to unify at such a time of division? It is a huge time of division in this country. You're right. Um, the United States is facing a very tragic, in my opinion, uh, time that I, in my 25 years of being in politics, really have never seen anything like this. So it's my hope that um, President Trump is able to do that. But really, when you see the division right now, the division is on the side of the Democrats with Joe Biden and them going after the leader of their party to bow out and not be on the ticket in November. I'm just looking at the speaker list um, today, Amanda, and I'm not seeing Melania there. I mean, I mean, it's her choice. It, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But she, she made such a stirring statement the other day following the attempted assassination of her husband. I, I thought she might appear at, at the RNC. Are you, do you have a thought on that? Are you disappointed by it at all? You know, I think what they are trying to do are to make sure that they're highlighting everyday Americans, um, highlighting other people other than the family. They've had a lot of um, family members, but, you know, I think last night the, the show was maybe stolen, not just by J.D. Vance, but by Kai hmm. Trump, his granddaughter. And so I think maybe they're trying to show a different side. Uh, certainly his wife spoke at the last convention and, um, the previous convention to that in 2016. So maybe they're just trying to give other members of the Trump family an opportunity to speak. Right. Uh, nothing will overshadow Donald Trump today. Uh, it is his day. But talk is certainly getting louder regarding the health of his opponent, Joe Biden. Uh, the reporting this morning is that Barack Obama is now privately intervening. Do you feel like it's a matter of time before Joe Biden steps aside? And, well, you've already started your focus on, on Kamala Harris. So uh, I was on Sky News on Monday and I said there's no way that they're going to be able to shift uh, gears and switch horses midstream like this. Certainly the calls are out there, the media's piling on, members of Congress, Nancy Pelosi, who is known to be a shark who doesn't sleep, someone who is very highly political and is worried about the down ballot effect of having Joe Biden at the top of the ticket. In other words, members of her party and what they would do. They would obviously love to control the House next year, and that's all at stake. But more than anything else, the commitment of donors, the hundreds of yeah. millions of dollars that have been promised um, to, the, to the party and to Joe Biden are now drying up. And so that's why I think leaders have a lot of pressure. But I think that Joe Biden is very stubborn, and I don't know that he's going to bow out of this race. Mm, we shall see. Amanda Mackey, good to have you with us this morning. Thank you.